is up guys, Kid Critic here, back again with another review. And this review is on my most anticipated superhero movie of the year, and that is Wonder Woman. Now the DCEU hasn't been the best lately, especially lately. I thought Man of Steel was a good movie, I thought it was very underrated. Batman v Superman was disappointing, but I thought it was okay. I thought the Suicide Squad was a bad movie. And I went into Wonder Woman with high hopes and some pretty high expectations. And I came out, and you know what? This movie is fantastic. I think, so the, basically Wonder Woman is about this girl, Wonder Woman, or Diana. Is the, that's how, basically what they call her throughout the whole movie. They never call her Wonder Woman. Who's basically training, trying to f find out her powers, and that's, I think, the I think the most interesting part of this movie is Wonder Woman trying to find her powers because of Batman v Superman. She's like kicking butt, but in this one it's a whole different story. She's barely f finding out her powers, and I think Robin Wright, who plays her trainer, did amazing. And so then this guy comes in with this plane out of nowhere, who was also played really well by Chris Pine. And he's like, there's stuff going on, World War One's going on, and Wonder Woman's like, I want to go fight with you. Or like, she wants to go stop war, hence the God of War. Uh, and they go on this big adventure, and there you go. So I think... The, the battle sequences are absolutely fantastic. My favorite one is the battle on the mascara on the beach that you see in the trailer. That one, I think, is, is the best and well shot. I think that's the best action scene out of all of them. If not that one, the one that you see a lot where she's ro rocking around and, like, the, and they're shooting at him and they bl she blocks the bullets. That's the second one. But all the action scenes are incredible. Gal Gadot, who I was very worried about because I saw her in the Fast and the Furious movies. I thought she was okay. She was, I know she was in Keeping Up with the Joneses and other movies, but I haven't really didn't watch them. But she did an amazing performance carrying on this movie. That's why I was most worried because she was carrying on a movie. And she did well. I thought Patty Jenkins did a great job directing this movie. I think my one big thing that I didn't like about this movie is the villains, especially Ares. I didn't like the way he was handled in this movie. And then there's another one called, like, Dr. Gas or Poison or something like that. I, I thought she, the, the actress that act that played her, then acted, like, it was over the top. So that made me like, eh. so the villains are like, just there, they're alright. They're like Marvel villains there, which is the biggest complaint that I usually have with Marvel villains. I think that this movie is, it had to be good. I think this is such a very important movie. One, it's a, it's a, the one of the first superheroes to have a woman superhero and a woman director. And then it also boosts up the hype for Justice League. Because people want to see Wonder Woman in the Justice League now. And now DC, the DCEU probably doesn't have a diverse movie. And so there you go. It's seeing the 93-4% that it has on Rotten Tomatoes right now. That, that's, a, that's a great thumbs up. They're, they're probably partying right now as we speak. I think this movie is fantastic. I don't think no act, none of the acts or there's no parts that were like boring or eh, like or eye rolling. I thought the chemistry between Chris Pine and one and Gal Gadot were absolutely amazing. One of the best chem, some of the best chemistry I've ever seen, ever in a super, in a super, especially in a superhero movie. Thought their chemistry was well done. The team that they're with, I thought that was pretty good. And the whole island that Wonder Woman was on, I, I actually would want to see more of that. Because I thought was, that part was like one of the, some of the best parts. The beginning when she she's a little girl and she wants to train and she's motivated. 
that's another great part. I thought the ending was pretty pretty well done. Throughout this this movie was well done. <laughs> this whole movie was well done. It was it was done great. And I, that and I'll give this movie a ninety one percent vote. Go check it out. And the next review will be on the Mummy. And comment and like below. Subscribe over there. On top and peace.